Father, right now, right now we come before you with thanksgiving and with praise. We are thankful today, Lord God. We are blessed people today, Lord God. And right now, Lord, I'm asking each viewer will receive something from you today, Lord God. They will hear my heart. They will hear your word, Lord God. And your word is truth and it shall not return void, but it will accomplish what you want it to do. So touch each person, Lord God, and let them be blessed, Lord. Encouraged and lifted up. In Jesus' name, amen. I want to share Proverbs 3, verses 5 and 6. In the New Kings James Version, it says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him. And what will he do? He will direct your path. I want to say trust. Not in ourselves, but is in the Lord. That's, that's the first key, is trusting in him. And then when I trust him, how do I learn to trust him? I'm going to learn to trust him by developing tools. Those tools are spending time with him, abiding in his presence, seeking his kingdom, seeking his purpose and plan. That's how I'm going to learn to put my trust in him because now I've developed a relationship with him. So when we start trusting him, then that helps me to not lean so much to what Wilma thinks or what somebody else is thinking. But it leads me to my Bible. What does God think? What does God has to say? It teaches me to find my security in him. Psalms 91. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I'm going to dwell in the secret place. I'm learning that his security will cover me, protect me, and keep me. During such a time as this, right now, we're living in a critical time right now. Do I go out? Do I stay in? Do I wear a mask? Do I put on gloves? Right now, we need to be led by the Spirit of God. Right now, hallelujah, hallelujah. We don't need to lean to what I think might be right. Just obey what the Spirit of God is saying. He's my security. In Him. In him, total commitment to him and his promise. Total commitment to what he's telling me to do. Trust and obey. Trust and obey. There's a song. There's no other way. So if I learn to trust in him, then obey him. He will what? He will direct my steps every day. In all my ways, I will acknowledge him. And he will do that for me. And I'm just so thankful because he's teaching me that. Every day, I'm learning to do that. Not trusting in what I see around me. Even at home when I sneeze, the first thing my husband says, get the spray out, get the wipes out. Over a sneeze, yeah. Okay, I'm spraying and I'm wiping. Okay, okay, but you know what? My trust is in the Lord that he's going to sanitize that house and keep us all safe. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. With all In all my ways, I'm acknowledging him and he will direct my path. I do want to give a testimony right now because um, this blessed me this week, trusting in the Lord with all my heart. And when I get my pastor's devotions every day, I send them out to family, friends, loved ones. A lot of folks I send them out, they don't go to church, but they will hear the, and listen to the devotion. This week, my niece responded. She called me. She lives out of state. And she just started talking, but as I had been abiding in God, I knew what the call was about. The call was about Jesus. The call was about her heart had been ministered to through the devotions. The call was about she needed Jesus. So when she called me at the end of that call, I said, how can I pray with you? And when she said, I want to hear God's voice, that was it right there. I was able to lead her into the salvation prayer for Jesus. She said the prayer and accepted Jesus. Now she's on her Christian walk, her Christian journey. And you know what? This is the kingdom of God. This is the work of God. This is what God is calling us to do in this hour, in this time. 
This is what the saints, the church should be doing. We should be leading others to Jesus Christ. We are the light to the world. We have our trust in him. We live and abide in him. And as we do this, he will have them even come across our path as we are obedient to doing what he's called us to do. Who can you call? Who can you text? Who can you write to encourage them today? Who can you do that with? What family member is that that you may not have heard from? Send them comforting words. During such a time as this pandemic, this is the season. This is the season for the church. The season for the church to rise up. The season for the church to speak up. The season for the church to walk out what we have. And, our, and what we have is the Lord Jesus Christ. His spirit dwells on the inside of us. So I just wanted to share that testimony. And I want to encourage you to trust him today as never before. Trust him in the midst of what you're listening to on the media. Trust him in the midst of the storms. Trust him as never before. When Peter was walking on the water to Jesus, he was trusting him and, and when his eyes were focused on the Lord. So as he started doing his understanding, looking at the waves, thinking, oh my, 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 what happened? Hallelujah. So let's keep our focus today on the Lord. Let's keep our trust in his word. Let's abide in his word. Let's encourage one another. So I want to end with prayer with you. I want to pray for you today that you will just totally surrender all, totally surrender all to Jesus. He knows about your finances. He knows about your needs. He knows about your family members. Oh God, he knows about everything that concerns our life. Can we trust him today? Can we lean not to our own understanding? And in all our ways to acknowledge him. And he said he would direct our path. So Father God, today, I lift up your people today, Lord God. Every person listening, every pastor, every leader, every church member, every saint of God, I lift up to you today. Help us today, Lord God, to trust you with all our hearts, to lean not to our own understanding, but in all our ways to acknowledge you. You said you would direct us, lead us, and guide us. Today, Lord God, we want to be led by your spirit. Today, Lord God, we want our lights to shine bright, Lord God. Today, Lord God, we want to be the revival to the world today, Lord God. The revival starts in us. It's in us. Help us, Lord God, to obey and take it out and let it flow out of us. So, Lord, I thank you today for every listener, for those that are sick in their bodies. Give them a supernatural touch today from the top of their heads to the soles of their feet. Touch today, Lord God. Restore today, Lord God. Those that are worrying today, Lord, help them to cast every care upon you. Hallelujah. Upon you because your words say you care it for every care in their lives, Lord God. Those that are concerned about loved ones, Lord God. Don't let them fret, Lord God. But in everything, just let them see it done by faith. See you in control by faith. Your kingdom come today, Lord. Your will be done today in each of our lives, Lord God. And we will glorify you, Lord God, in all that we do and say. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus.